Check this out. Whoa! <laughs> What is up everybody and welcome to today's video. For those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Zach. This is SC Fishkeeping. I appreciate you stopping by. Now, today I'm gonna do something that honestly I don't think has ever been done on YouTube. Is he serious? Always. And it's all gonna start with uh, airing some of my dirty laundry. And no, I'm not talking about this dirty laundry. Of course, the dirty laundry to which I refer is this guy right here, my pet musky. Now you're probably looking at him, you're like, Zach, how dare you call him dirty laundry? Look at him, he's so cute and adorable. Well, if I zoom out, you're gonna start to notice some things come into picture here. You're gonna see some scratches to the tank. You're gonna see some dirty driftwood. The whole thing looks kind of yellow due to bad lighting. And then, oh my, what is that? And this right here is a steel yardstick that is, well, at one point was uh, stopping the tank from bowing out and exploding and as you can see it's come unhinged and it is now replaced by this. So you're probably thinking, Zach, this is a feeding video. You teased us with hand feeding. Why are you telling us this? And it's pretty simple. This tank is about to be drained. The muskie is going to be moved temporarily somewhere else. So I'm going to clean the whole thing and fix that center support. And so the reason I told you all that is so when I'm trying to feed it, and we're like dodging algae on the glass. You're not like, oh, Zach, why is your tank so filthy? Uh, now you know, because I got to fix that. Now, in the meantime, while we film this feeding video, there are some things that we can do to uh, improve the appearance of this tank. Like, how about uh, a little lighting change? Oh, yeah. Now, doesn't that look way better? The tank doesn't look so yellow. And honestly, it's kind of amazing what fun you can have with a little bit of lighting. Am I right? That only cost me $20, by the way. Let me know if you wanna see how I did it. But let's be honest, you guys aren't here to see how with just a push of a button on my phone, I could set up a lightning storm in a sunfish tank. No, 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 no. You guys are here to see the muskie and you wanna see him eat. And we're gonna try something I've never done before, which is uh, using live feeders to hand feed the guy. So let's go get some. And of course, the only place to get bait is my favorite place, LNA Baits, in Omaha, Nebraska. So let's go on in and see what he's got. And just like that, we have the bucket we need. We're all set. Oh, I appreciate you. Thanks, man. He just likes to be on camera, but come check out LNA Baits in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, they have obviously a lot of stuff that you saw um, for kind of all your bait and or cheap goldfish, sunfish pet needs. So let's get back home and we'll feed the muskie. Home. I transferred the uh, all the fish that we got over to one of my own buckets so I had a little more room because I'm actually acclimating everything because I want most of those fish that I got to go into the sunfish tank because obviously not all those minnows are going to be eaten by the muskie and those sunfish are uh, yeah way too big for that guy so we're gonna feed him but before we do that a lot of people don't like live feeding a lot of people think that uh, you shouldn't be feeding other fish to fish because I've heard people say that all fish should be able to take shrimp or tilapia. And in my multiple years of keeping muskie, I have never gotten one to actually eat tilapia. I've only had any success with eating live. I'm gonna try it, but uh, I mean, the result we're looking for is kind of something like this. We can do better. Not who I thought was going to take that. Missed it by that much. I just went ahead and 
cut up some tilapia you probably can't see it it's just really thin kind of fish like and I have never tried to feed this guy by hand I'm just I don't know what to expect I don't know if he's gonna do it and I don't know if anybody's ever hand fed a muskie on on YouTube I'm guessing he's not gonna take the tilapia but once I put like a minnow or two in there these things typically strike so I'm a little worried about him catching the tip of my finger here a few moments later and he's thinking I'm still holding it because I don't want to look like a weenie on camera two hours later losing interest so yeah, pretty much what I expected. Uh, the tilapia might smell like fish, but it doesn't act like a fish. And the muskie being a sight hunter with their big old eyes, they need it to act like a fish in order for them to go for it. So let's see what happens if we do the same thing with a live minnow. There he is, he knows something's up. I have the minnow in my hand and we're gonna see if we can hand feed a muskie for the first time on YouTube, maybe. Oh, he knows something's up. I'm still holding it. Whoa! Oh, dang. Woo! I felt that hit my fingers and I freaked out. Whoa! Oh, dang. Woo! I was not about to get bit by the muskie on that one, but uh, yeah, now he knows there's uh, minnows in my hand. He's so hard to see in this dark tank, but uh, let's try again. Number two, let's see if I can actually hold onto it this time. He hit that thing so fast on the last one. Oh, I lost it. It wriggled out. There it goes. Take three. He's a little timid, and I don't know if he thinks, oh, nope. He's gonna make me look like a liar. All right, I'm just gonna let this one go. All right, so just like that, the minnow, he spins it around, it goes down head first. He ate two minnows, and you can see them right there, one and two. And I don't really know if he's gonna eat any more because uh, yeah, there's a few more in there and he's seen them and he's just kind of hanging out. But I think that is fine. That means he is full. God, and you can really just see how amazing those colors are in that pattern. And those big old eyes. <laughs> there goes one swimming by in the background. So yeah, let's check on that other tank with all those sunfish that I just put in there. Actually, now that I think about it, I do know what will hand feed. Check this out. Gone. Gone. He'll also uh, eat the minnows. And it's been a whole day since all that footage you just saw. Hopefully those last couple of clips showed you why I love green sunfish. I was glad we could get them eating uh, the muskie is doing great. Uh, there's fewer minnows in the tank than there were yesterday, meaning he's had a few more. Uh, I'll give you a close up here of him in just a second. As far as the sunfish tank goes, I'm gonna hold off on showing you guys that tank because honestly, I don't think I got sunfish. I think there might be some bluegill, so I wanna let them kinda rest up and get some of their color back, and then I'll give you a, a showcase on that tank and we'll kinda show off all the new additions. But as for the muskie, still fat. Still beautiful, still looking good, still eyeballing me like, hey, you gonna stick your fingers in here again? You wanna try that stunt again? <laughs> but yeah, love this fish. And that is just about going to do it on today's video. For my next video, I'm really excited to show you a fish that hasn't been on the channel in a very, very long time. It's something, it's a fish I've wanted to showcase. Uh, I don't know anybody else that actually keeps one of these and yeah, so I'm excited. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos. If you enjoy this one, hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the muskie. And uh, yeah, until the next one, this is Zach with SC Fish Keeping, reminding you that every fish is a keeper, especially 
the Hungry Muskie. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. See you.